Hi! In the last couple of videos, I spoke about using reality checks and dream signs to trigger lucid dreams, and how the more you focus on these things, the more chance you'll have of becoming lucid, especially if you focus on them as you're drifting off to sleep. Drifting off, you feel yourself. And the best time to do this is in the middle of the night, rather than when you first go to bed. The reason being that in the middle of the night, you're more likely to go into your REM dream stage of your sleep cycle. This technique is commonly known as wake back to bed, but I've always known it as my middle of the night induction. So if you're like me and a weak bladder has gotten you up every night of your life for a trip to the toilet, then you're sorted, but otherwise it's the dreaded alarm again. Wakey, wakey time! Set it for three or four hours before you would normally get up. Then when it goes off, get up and go for a little stroll through your house. And remember to do a reality check during this induction in case it's a false awakening, where you think that you've gotten up, but in reality, you're actually just dreaming that you've gotten up. I'll talk about these more later in another video. So you'll then go back to bed and you can focus on your intention to have a lucid dream. You can also run through your dream signs, but most of all, try to stay focused as you drift off through the hypnagogic tunnel of nonsensical thoughts and random images. And before you know it, you'll find yourself in a dream. You'll do your reality check, it'll work, and you'll finally find yourself dreaming awake. You'll probably then get so excited that you'll wake yourself up. This is quite common for first time lucid dreamers. So the first thing to remember is stay calm. It's also quite common when people first find themselves lucid to think, oh, I'm dreaming, I'm going to take off and fly. And then the overwhelming feeling of soaring through the air or falling from the building that they've just jumped off inevitably wakes them up. So the second thing to remember is keep it simple. In my wife's first lucid dream after she had met me, she got excited and tried to phone me to tell me what she had achieved. She then got caught up in the fact that her phone couldn't make calls from the dream into the real world and she lost lucidity. Oh my God, pick up the phone. So the third thing to remember is stay lucid. Keep telling yourself it's a dream. So when you first find yourself lucid, maybe just stand and look around at the world that you find yourself in. Walk around and admire your creation. Take in all the detail, feel the textures and appreciate how real it all is and that it's all coming from your mind. And if you feel like you're starting to wake up, look at your hands. This is one of these tried and tested methods where you look at your hands and back at the dream repeatedly until the dream stabilises. You're basically using your hands as an anchor because there's something that's easily visualised because they're so familiar to you, it's easy to keep them solid while the rest of the dream might be starting to fade. Personally, if I feel like I'm going to wake up, I grab onto something in the dream and I keep a hold of it because it's usually my vision that goes first. So if I'm holding onto something in the dream, again, it acts like an anchor. And if I keep running my hands over it, it keeps me in the dream until my vision comes back. Another method is to spin around on the spot if you feel like you're going to wake up. This seems to work by shifting your attention to something physical and it stabilizes the dream. You may, however, find yourself in an entirely different location when you stop spinning because it's also a method used for travelling in dreams. But I guess that's part of the fun, never knowing where you're going to end up. And as I said earlier, remember to keep telling yourself that it's a dream because it's easy to lose lucidity after you've gained it. And inevitably, after a while, random thoughts will start to come in and manifest themselves as all kinds of distractions. And if you get caught up in these, you'll be pulled back into a normal dream. There are, however, ways of stopping these random thought manifestations from happening. And that's what we'll look at in the next video. Thanks for watching.